Konnichiwa, me now this is Teaser Career and watching Pokecast. Today's video is from R Type Final, and this is on PlayStation 2. I don't know why, but these are some of the funnest games you can get your hands on. And I am absolutely atrocious with them. I think I've only maybe beaten at least three of them that I've actually tried. This is just a doozy. I just really enjoy playing these games. I can't really explain it. I guess it's just the whole flying around the ship blowing things up. Really, yeah, I started out with, you know, Defender and uh, Asteroids, Space Invaders. There's a lot of games that really brought, brought something until I finally got to try out the um, R-Type for the first time and got hooked on the game, but never got really good at it. I don't know why. This is, of course, the PlayStation 2 version in which they really go and uh, have fun with making the graphics. They keep the initial uh, gameplay, which is really fun and really good. That's what they need to stay with. And... <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Um, they make the game insanely difficult, as always. Of course, I was just playing it just to play it and get some video up, so I wasn't really doing my best. Though, this is probably <laughs> what usually goes down in the first place. <laughs> and of course, I hate going against mechs. I don't know why, these mechs are just always a bad thing. I was so excited to pick this one up. It was definitely one of those that I was like, okay, I want this. I think it cost me about a dollar to pick this game up, I believe. But I've never looked back on it. It's just one of those games that are awesome and good to have. Basically, um, for those of you who have never played these type of games, uh, or have always wondered, you know, what makes these games so much fun, why people continue to play these. It's basically, it's a survival game. That's exactly what it is. You are uh, blowing things up, uh, getting more power-ups as you go along, but as soon as you die, you lose all your power-ups. That's how the game basically works. You have to memorize where everything is, where everything's coming from, and then, as you can see, each power-up has a different color code to it. Of course, I was forgetting about... Oh, and you have very short uh, amount of lives. So you end up going to the um, infamous um, continue screen quite frequently. As I was saying, well, I mean, with each of the different things, you know, you, you gotta remember which one is which. And if you play like me, who doesn't really pay attention, I'll start grabbing whatever. It's very important to remember each of the colors because the more of the colors you pick up, typically will give you a stronger ability. That's usually the, the, the main rule. And then, of course, as you can see a boss, they give us these insane bosses which are bigger than life and you have no choice but to memorize um, the patterns and of course where you can hurt them. Luckily this one was easy to attack and as I say that I die. Right. <laughs> He's, okay. He was easy to hit is what I should say. Because after you, um, on some bosses you can only really hurt them in certain joints or so, and then in other bosses you have to wait for something to open before you can even attack them. A good one is like in Star Fox 64. I mean, in that one you had to shoot um, specific areas um, to take down the boss or to disable it. And 
I think that's why I really enjoyed this, playing this one. I mean, first 3D um, one I've actually ever played in the art type, so I was very excited. I've only played the 2D versions, um, donning all the way from the uh, NES, and uh, I've done the Super Nintendo one, I've done all kinds of versions. So I've been very excited about that. Oh yes, and make sure you move away from the boss. <laughs> oh, he was so poorly. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's what makes it fun. Because you get to enjoy seeing yourself fail so epically. I'd definitely like to hear what you guys, uh, what are some of your favorite uh, space shooters like this? Or arcade shooters, if you will. Um, man, I have to really think about that. I've played so many of these. And died frequently. Hmm. Burrow Fighter for NES was definitely one of my all time favorites. I know a lot of people would be expecting me to say uh, Asteroids, Defender, and those games, which, yes, they are some of my favorites, but they're not my all time favorite. I think I actually will go right now with uh, the uh, Burry Fighter from the NES. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But, uh, I guess that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Tisa Cursing Challenge, Sayonara. <laughs>